you're going to take the step to reload, we need to make sure we understand how to reload safely for our rifles. Now, we're going to reference for our maximum powder charge uh, a reloading manual from like Hodgdon or Spear or uh, any other bullet or powder maker that has published a manual. And we're going to take that information and apply it to our loads. Now, they have a maximum charge listed, but that charge was developed with a specific barrel, chamber, a certain lot of components and just because it was safe in that barrel doesn't mean it's going to be safe in yours. So we need a common sense method to double check those numbers so that when we're reloading our cartridges that it's safe. And essentially the, the technique we're going to use monitors the flow of brass around uh, indentations or cuts that are in our bolt face. Your brass is up against the face of that bolt and when you reach a certain level of pressure the brass will start to flow around cuts, like for instance in this uh, Remington style bolt in the ejector. Uh, in a Remington style you have a square notch that's an ejector and you're going to monitor the case head and watch that brass flow and as soon as you start to see some marks, uh, you'll, uh, on a Remington style you'll see a little half moon shape. We call that a smiley face. If you see a smiley face, you need to back off. Uh, if you see a full moon, then you know you're way overloaded and it's time to bring that back down again. Now the, the test requires us to take a series of, of cartridges that are loaded, I, I prefer like a half grain increment, somewhere between our minimum and maximum loads. Uh, in this test we're going to use the 65284 Norma, we're using a 140 grain burger bullet. The online data at Hodgson.com tells us that 45 grains of Hodgson H4350 is our maximum. So I'm going to load up a series of data starting at 44 grains up through 47 and a half. Now I'm deliberately loading beyond that maximum so I can illustrate what that brass flow looks like. Uh, it's a very simple deal. I'm going to take this back to our shop. We're going to shoot in our Savage Snail system and then I'll bring these back for examination. All right, what we're looking for here is an indicator that the brass has begun to flow around that ejector cutout on my bolt face. Usually it'll show up as that little half moon or smiley face. So I'm looking for anything curved there. That's my starting load. Now for contrast, here is that overloaded round and there's an obvious mark. So our goal is to find the point where that mark just appears and then we'll back off half a grain. So let's jump down here to 46 grains mark is there, 45 and a half grains, I've got a real small mark, and 45 grains. Now in this case it looks like the Hodgson manual is correct. Uh, I take the 45 and a half grains back off a half a grain to 45, that gives me my maximum powder charge. A different lot of brass, a different model or brand of brass would give us different results. So do it with new components, with the components that you're going to use to reload. And that will help you determine your safe maximum powder charge. I'm Aaron Davidson, and now you can do it yourself.